Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, what we're gonna try and do tonight is uh, work on the stairs for the companionway on the boat. Um, a while back I had made a, a mock-up of what those stairs were gonna look like. We had to redo that whole back wall. We had to end up cutting out a section uh, of rotten wood and replace that with something uh, that's a little bit more durable. So we refinished it with some three quarter inch plywood that we're gonna epoxy seal. Um, and coat with paint and then that's going to also have a spot for our refrigerator uh, which you should have seen in another video at least the cut out anyway um, and then the stairs that I have um, are, are going to mount so that they mount flush to that uh, back wall as you head out of the companionway and then when, um, when we're underway or when we're uh, utilizing the living room the, the stairs at least in my head are going to swing up to the side of the boat so up to the starboard side of the boat so we're kind of making more of a ladder than we are stairs so this is kind of just the process of how we're going to go about it i'll show you the template right now so that's kind of basically what it's going to look like um and that was roughly sized and what i got was some stainless steel hinges and a bunch of uh, um, clasps and locks. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that apart. We're gonna transfer it to some three quarter inch plywood. Uh, we're gonna make the sides and the steps and we'll go through that process around and all over. And uh, hopefully the product will look pretty good when we're done. So um, enjoy what you see. And we're gonna do a time lapse of that. So thanks for watching and uh, let's get right to it. Hey guys, all right, so we've done a bunch of cutting. All right, guys, so here um, the two halves of the kind of stairway. So we routed, we curved the edges, and uh, just did a round over on them. Then gave everything a nice light sand. So these are the two halves. And they're matched pretty good, so. Um, the next thing I did was I took a bunch of uh, just two inch pieces that are about eight inches long and I kind of rounded the ends and then just did a quick uh, round over bit with a small router. What these are going to do is they're going to serve uh, basically to be the supports for the stair treads themselves. And so they'll kind of go on like that. And then we have four identical stairs. We did a bullnose. Uh, basically profile on them and they are sanded and ready to go uh, so they will all sit um, at different lengths coming in so there'll be a little bit of step off in the back and we'll adjust these pieces to make sure that they uh, support them exactly right so that's kind of the gist of how it's going to go <laughs>
still working on those stairs. What we're going to do today is actually, uh, I'll show you what those look like real quick. And then we're going to go over how we're going to attach the stair treads. So I use uh, Craig pocket jigs um, to create pocket screw holes because I think that that creates a very nice tight bond as well as um, it hides the fastener and you don't have to worry about anything like that. So we'll go through that setup and. All right, so this is the uh, Craig um, R3 kit, and it comes with a uh, pocket hole jig. Um, it comes with the um, drill, and then you have a, um, a long square drive bit uh, for the thing. Now, because the wood we're using is three quarters of an inch, I have the jig set up so that I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's set for a three quarter inch width. And then the drill guide is set uh, for a uh, three quarter inch. And how you do that, there's a, um, inside of the container, there's some markings and all you gotta do is set the guide in there. And then you move that collar um, up to where the three quarter inch is. And then that sets to your appropriate depth. Um, I also have a clamp. And that holds the jig securely. There's a flexible mount. Basically, you stick that in. And then we'll take a piece of uh, scrap wood here. So you can see what we're doing. Basically, that goes on like that. You pull that together. And basically this, wherever you want the hole to be drilled, um, you drill this uh, straight in. And that, that's gonna give you a nice pocket hole. And I'll show you an example of what that looks like before we get anything done. And what you get are pocket holes and the drill goes almost all the way through, um, but it's set at the perfect depth. So if you use like today, we're gonna be using um, inch and a quarter Craig screws and that's the perfect depth and setting to screw this into a three quarter inch material um, so you don't have to worry about um, it going in too deep um, and p penetrating this the other side so uh, we're going to go ahead and start making some marks on
that's a wrap, I guess. Uh, everything went together real uh, nice, and it is going to be strong, and it's not coming apart. Um, so I think all we have left to do is get it all sanded nice, um, and then put a nice coat of stain and some sell two or three, four coats of polyurethane on it, and uh, I think it's going to be ready to uh, try and test fit in the boat. I think probably the smart thing is, is going to be to take it down to the boat with me uh, when I go uh, tomorrow and make sure that it fits before we stain and polyurethane it. So uh, next time you'll see it, uh, you'll see it on the boat and see if it fits. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.